Operation Red Snow brought the California Army and Air National Guard together with the 95th Civil Support Team and the Federal Bureau of Investigation to the United States Marine Corps Mountain Warfare Training Center located high in the Sierra Nevadas. The rugged terrain and high elevation tested the ability of the California National Guardsmen and the 95th Civil Support Team and proved their skills in a variety of scenarios. We have a uh, simulated ter terrorist group that is uh, the Op 4 that's located um, uh, right here in the mountains and we have a an assaulting element such um, ran by the FBI and the 160 recon platoon um, conducting this uh, assault on the objective to include also the uh, the recon surveillance of the terrorist camp. All right, during the assault uh, we put up a good fight but eventually we were overrun by uh, army infantry and I think there was uh, a few rangers involved as well um, but like I said eventually we were we were overtaken and uh, they did take POWs, um, questioned us, we obviously didn't cooperate very well, we, didn't, we weren't English speaking, so they did their best. You don't learn from easy, so the harder we press them, the more they're going to learn and the more advantageous it's going to be to them and their training. In this FTX, they had a uh, scenario where uh, a uh, group, anti-government group, was making uh, rockets, uh, explosives, and uh, ricin, uh, basically to attack the state of California. The CST team uh, was here at request of the FBI uh, to provide support to, so they could sample and test uh, ricin because it's a WMD, it falls with under a federal statute, so we uh, basically activate them through the governor's office, the Calima, and uh, they come out and help us out. They're using area rays, they're using five gas meters, and what they're checking for, I'm sure they've got rad detectors also, so looking for radiation if there's radiation. The, the five gas meters are looking for volatile organics, looking for carbon monoxide, looking for anything that could come out, reach out and, and hurt us. And that's and looking for warfare agents also. For WMD, the CST teams are the only full-time WMD people in the state of California. So when we talk about the weapons of mass destruction, they're on the front line. Uh, they provide a very good asset because they're, they're proactive. And I've been working with CST now for almost 10 years. Uh, we know things are going to happen when they happen if CST is around. For the California National Guard Public Affairs, this is Master Sergeant David Leffler.